the rescue squads are, are a new program that implement alternative response vehicles to make emergency calls in the city rather than the traditional fire truck or ladder truck that, uh, that most communities use in their fire departments to make emergency medical services calls. Um, we looked at an alternative system to be able to get responses out quicker to the citizens at a more cost-effective and efficient way. Traditionally, you, you look at a fire truck, it's got four firefighters on there, it costs X amount of dollars to run up and down the road. A fire truck gets about two miles a gallon. Uh, Chevy Suburban, even though not great gas mileage, it does get about 12 to 14 miles a gallon. Uh, the wear and tear and the maintenance is significantly less on a smaller vehicle. Um, so there's a cost savings there as well, as well as the personnel. Uh, there's only two uh, individuals on the Chevy Suburban where I've got four on an engine that are making the call normally. And so there's a, there's a uh, reoccurring expenditure for personnel costs as well. Fire trucks, they're so much heavier and larger, uh, more cumbersome. Uh, these are just your standard Suburban, three-quarter ton Suburban. Uh, outfitted with uh, our special equipment and it gets in and out of places quicker. You can turn it around easier, uh, just up and down streets easier. But it's, my thing is less wear and tear. So that's what, what helps us with the Suburban. It's just a quicker, lighter response vehicle. When we get to a call, we'll come to the back and open our back up. Sometimes we can get the minimal gear just by reaching inside. But if we need to, we have a slide out tray to where we can get to the extra equipment. If we're going on a uh, medical call, we have the opportunity to grab our med bag, which carries our drugs, bandaging, blood pressure cuffs, uh, able to take a D-stick with a glucose monitor. We also grab our EKG. The EKG is a, this is our Life Pack 15, and we're able to do a regular four lead EKG, or we can do 12 lead EKGs. And then if somebody has a uh, problem with the heart rhythm, then we can transmit that to the hospital and get advice from the hospital. In an instance where we should need um, to go to a fire call, then what we would do was come around to the back. We'd have our bunker gear in the back. We put our bunker gear on and we show up. We have air packs just like an engine or a fire truck. Squads respond to all our emergency medical calls uh, in the city of Plano in districts one and four. Uh, we respond to every medical call that you'd have. Somebody, something, somebody slips and falls, uh, cardiac arrest, uh, difficulty breathing, seizures, uh, uh, ultra level of consciousness, shooting, stabbing, uh, any, of the, any of the medical calls that, uh, that is dispatched in the city will we'll go to. The impact to the citizens is getting something out of the fire station quicker, uh, being a more nimble and agile response to be able to get to an emergency medical call, getting into smaller places, uh, which you know we have some of those issues here in Plano, and then being able to deliver that life-saving care once they get there is something that all played a part of you know making a decision to go to what we call an alternative response vehicle um, for both effectiveness reasons and, and providing a greater level of medical services to the citizens while having a significant financial impact to the, and savings to the organization and the taxpayers ultimately as well.